What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. And welcome everybody to the second um, new era type review on my channel. Um, I know that I did a few back in my uh, late 2017 run, but as of recent, this is the second unboxing from this perspective. And today, it's not as good as the first uh, massive unboxing, but this time, we have three American Airlines McDonald Douglas MD-80s today to unbox. Um, when I saw these come out, there was nothing stopping me. I immediately jumped on buying these, and they showed up right here. And I wanted to get another United 737-800, but uh, well, at some point, we will make that happen. So, um, Yeah, as of right now, I have a lot of plans for the channel, uh, new concepts, things like along the lines of that. It has been busy. Um, I'm double recording this in the Albuquerque update in the same day, so that shows you really how busy it is. But hopefully you guys enjoy this double weekend upload. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're always notified when I post a brand new video. So there's a lot of things that I, I've not even touched it. So I've waited two days. I know that's pretty crazy for my with these. So we'll get to these uh, very shortly. Um, the first thing I want to go over is this is my first order <clears throat> from Diecast Jets. I have used Easy Toys for pre-orders the last five six years, and from hearing about their uh, award system, which I guess I got 20 points, whatever that totals out to. Um, it sounds like you can get, uh, if you accumulate enough orders, free models. And Easy Toys doesn't do anything like that. They just have small discount codes. So let me see uh, if I can show you guys the packing order, if I'm careful. Let me. Here, I'm just going to fold what I don't want seen. So, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, yeah, there's a disc. Uh, count code right there. So, uh, three one four hundred scale American Airlines McDonald doubles MD eighty threes November nine six two one Alpha thirty five dollars sixteen each. Three of them, which totals out to one hundred ten dollars sixteen cents with tax. A really nice purchase to make. I'll say that for sure. Um, they're from Henderson, Nevada, and from what I hear, they get the models very quickly. So that is kind of one reason why I decided to start using diecast jets with that uh, but no more waiting um, it's time to get into three more MD-80s for my collection now Gemini Jets says since I bought a model last time I bought a model would have been the uh, most recent model I bought to come out was probably the American E-175 maybe um, the massive order or one world yeah that was July releases Iceland Air was, but so yeah, it was around that time. So a few things, minor, good changes in my opinion, to the box. So um, to start with, the front's the same. Um, if you guys don't, I'm gonna cut, or I may cut this out, but I'm gonna go get a uh, old MD80 box real quick. I think there's actually a few changes. Okay, so this one's kind of in bad shape. A few scratches from sitting, but yeah, there's. <laughs> so here's the front two boxes. Um, picture is much cleaner on the right. Like, I mean, a lot cleaner. Fonts. Here's different. This is red. This is kind of interesting to look at. Bigger Gemini logo. Made for collectors is different. I mean, you can tell. Info's here. Not even the one thing that they did take off was item number. Or... Never mind. I thought there was a tell number, but everything's just laid out a little differently. Same rules. The back. 
Uh, as you can tell, the, the yellows switch spots with China and the font's smaller. Pictures are different. Now it covers the whole thing instead of slanted. Gemini Jets logo is smaller. Uh, the fa now they have Instagram and Twitter, or sorry, uh, their website and Facebook, or Instagram's added in now. So, as real as it gets, no period now over here. So yeah, it's basically all the same information. And then the inside I also noticed was different. Yeah. So basically just a cleaner look, I guess you could say. There's the focus. There we go. I'll let you guys read the inside. So this is the old box, very old. We'll just put that over here. So, uh, focus, good. So there you guys go if you want to see it, the model. We got three of them to unbox, so I'm pretty excited. Once again, for all my reviews, we will go off the five bullets on the back for what I think of the model. And I have MD80s ready to compare, so. Oh, this has been a long time coming. I'm pretty excited. Three more to the collection. Here we go. The originals came out, or the original MD80s came out in uh, November 2013, and then that JetX was like 2010 or something, 2011. We'll see how much more effort Gemini's actually put into the MD80. And from what I can tell, no antennas or anything, not surprised. And with double wrap, rolling landing gear, I think. Here it is. The new American Airlines McDonnell Doubles MD-80. Oh, yes. So, from looking at it already, there's a few differences I can tell. Uh, to start with, they will be noticeable between the old and the new. First off, these are literally brand new out of the box, so they're not going to be scratches everywhere. Okay, let me take a look. So first, the rolling landing gear, good change to the mold. It's five years, We every plane in the fleet besides 200 should have rolling landing gear, or in the molds wise, should have rolling landing gear. Um, tell number's different. The logo on the tail's bigger, um, and the wings are a little different. I'm gonna unbox all three of them before I uh, bring in the comparisons and thumbnail will have all eight. I've decided that now. Number two, 737 800. Or oh, McDonald's Double's MD83. Oh man, this is, it's Christmas for me boys. This is probably the last MD80 we'll ever see for American for at least another five, 10 years. So they're not gonna, this, Probably won't sell out. I doubt it since nothing sells out anymore. So let me get that other box so I don't forget to put it up with everything else. Two MD80s. One more MD80. Post is automated today, so this is around my post time for weekdays. So I just scheduled it because I really wanted to get this started because this is pretty crazy. Three MD-80s. Uh, I know it's out of, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the third one's definitely not in the shot at this point. Let me take a look. Uh, third one is in the shot, so third. I'm gonna line them up for maybe the thumbnail. I'll decide what I wanna do thumbnail-wise very shortly. But just get a few different. Oh my gosh, yes. Just wanted to get that as an option. So now, with that, uh, we will bring in the comparisons, so I will drag two of these off. And we're gonna start with the um, five, seven, six. Let me see. That one has two gears, so that will be our the one. 
Okay, so for starters, one's less polished. Yes, I know. Left side is a lot dirtier. I mean, a lot. Uh, let's see. It's got. I'm gonna. It's got some dust. So I'm gonna take that. Start lining it up. So the logos. I think it's a different font that got me off. The mold's different. Definitely different. So the first plane is the new mold, and the second one's the old, or 2018 release, as you may call it. So uh, this MD80 is higher off the ground. I'll show you guys a view of that very shortly. Fonts different on that. Uh, doors are very more obvious. Windows, it's actually white, not like a light gray. Horlon is stable. Horlon. Horizontal stabilizers are a little bit more angled. Um, rolling landing gear, better rolling landing gear. I've got the R old MDs actually have rolling. Uh, sorry. Once again, higher off the ground for sure. You can tell by that little wing, wing tip right there. Engines pretty much look the same. Yeah, let me look close and see if like details any better. Um, windows and doors are bigger. One world logo is more obvious. Uh, this uh, evacuation uh, markings are more obvious. Um, the back engine part's different. That's black. This is more of a grayish. Dark gray. That's a actual black or open. So there is differences, but just not like crazy amounts. Um, now we're gonna bring in the now the plane knife compared to this. These all time the JetX American Airlines McDonald's MD82. Now, as you can tell, there's a clear difference. Is this one's polished? So immediately you can tell that there uh, is a better plane. This will probably still remain my favorite. It goes one, two, three. That's a great mold. It's just five years old, and the newer version I think is better. I like the more clear doors and stuff, and it's higher off the ground as well. That's a good move for gates. Like it is actually significantly higher off the ground, and higher off the ground than the Jetix too. Um, let's see here. Wings are different. Details on the wing. Doors are still more obvious on the newest Gemini Jets. Um, six o'clock. <laughs> uh, four o'clock, sorry. Um, there's no, there's a notch here now, right here on the engine for, and right there, still there for all three of them. Uh, on the, yeah, never mind. Um, uh, different or the blue goes way too far on this 82. I'm pretty sure it does not go that far. Stripes, stripes are more obvious on the newest Gemini Jets MD83. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything different. This has more of the gray cutout as this new one does. So I want to take the camera off the tripod. Sorry if you see the mess in the background. It's a mess, literally. So to start with, I'm going to put them these two. I'm going to hopefully, with no problems, move over to the side. So in the middle is the Jet X, or we'll put the Jet X on the right. Yeah, this is a mess, literally. In the middle will be the new Gemini Jets, and on the left will be the oldest Gemini Jets. For, as you can tell, the MD-83 in the middle, the newest, is the highest off the ground. Um, look pretty good. Um, this one's cleanest, of course. That's polished, though, so that'll always have a special place in my heart. I do want to accumulate a black nose at some point. That's a goal. Yeah, uh, overall, I, oh, box rating, sorry, let me, 
go off that. So this is going to be a 30 minute review, but 15s or 20s in the picture. Highly collectible. Yes, superior quality, no gear issues, wings are even, yes. Super realistic metal landing gear. Let me see here. That counts. Uh, sorry. Detailed printed graphics. Yeah, a lot better than the last mold. As real as it gets features. Well, as real as it gets features wise, I mean, I don't know what you mean by as real as it gets features, but yeah, and the computer generated image is pretty much what you're going to get. So, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I would definitely give it a solid 10. It's MD80, so I'm not going to tank it on anything. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Um, if it was polished, it would be more than a 10 out of 10, like maybe a 9.5 right now. But if it was a JetX polished, it would have got a 10 out of 10 for sure. All I want is this polished, and that would be it. That would be all the only thing more I would want. However, it still looks nice. It'll just get dirty over time, just like my others have. Um, for whatever reason. So, uh, with eight, we'll do four and four for the thumbnail. So, we'll do Jet X, top, bottom left, old, and then two more olds. Oh my gosh, this is this is something to be proud of right here, guys. And then we'll do one old, three new in the back, and that'll do it. Wow. It's one of the best lineups on YouTube. How would you say that for sure? Let me make let me try to put them all like behind each other legitimately. If you guys can hear stuff outside, I know I'm just not saying this, but chainsaw starts. They're doing some lawn work, I believe. Trees or something, cutting down trees or some stuff. Or they're all a lot closer than this. Um, sorry, I'm just. This is going to be a lineup, so I, it's got to be pretty good. Just going to try to get them as close as possible. Wow, that is. That eight of these now. Oh man. Wow, look at it from that perspective. Wow, that's a lineup. I'm honestly shocked. Black nose or some point to add on. I did buy another model. Uh, it was a real snag, so I'm not going to talk about it because it's not going to get a review. But it's a great addition. All right. I already do have the model if that gives you guys any hints, but yeah, this is uh, I'm honestly kind of shocked. I mean, that's look at the lineup. Sorry about the camera. Look at the lineup. That's I mean, that's just insane. That's crazy, dude. This oh, man, eight MD80s in the fleet. I honestly can't decide if the new Gemini Jets or if the polished Jet X is my favorite. <laughs> At some point I'd like to accumulate another couple, but I mean this is this is an ops, man. This is an ops. I'm gonna get some BTS for Instagram. Oh yes. Um well, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I thought it was um, a solid unboxing, a really good second unboxing. Um, the massive order that I've wanted to make, once again, the reason I haven't made any huge orders, like this is the only exception that I've done. And then there was something that I found that was really good for the airport wise that is coming. But this was literally the only like new releases exception I would make. So it was an MD80, I wasn't passing it up. And Dude, this is why, I mean, this is a crazy view, so. Um, 
So Albuquerque, I think this is coming out Friday or Saturday, so Albuquerque will be whichever other day that doesn't come out. So before or after this, I think this is Friday, so Saturday will be Albuquerque. And then next week will be probably DFW since it's still out. I have no real good reason to not leave it out for another update at this point because it's still out. So I'm going to do DFW with these new MD80s, and then I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do Pensacola and then Tulsa, which um, progress wise, we got some more gates done. I'm happy with it. I got everything fixed. It just, hopefully the weekends will uh, give me time. Spring break was my real hope and yeah, you know what happened. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all really enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for these in the 80s. If you want some yourself, you can go to any retailer for Gemini Jets or their website. Any questions, you can leave them below. Feedback or any recommendations. New stuff in the works, guys. I hope you guys are excited. That will be all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Red River Aviation, signing off.